Welcome, we are so excited for today. We celebrate what God has created in the marriage covenant and the love shared between Josh and Meg. So the question is, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Right. Let's pray together. Father, we are grateful for today. We are grateful for who you are. We are grateful for your creation. We are grateful, God, that you have created and knit together both Megan and Josh. And you've created this day so we can celebrate all that you are and all that you've done in Josh's life and in Megan's life to bring them together to this point where they can stand before family and friends and you and declare their love for one another their commitment to one another. And we just say thank you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we see it? <laughs> On behalf of Josh and Megan and their families, I want you to officially welcome you to their wedding day. Um, I know how grateful they are that you are here to support them to celebrate all that God's done in them, where they've come to the, to, thus far, um, to bring them to this point. Um, and Josh and Megan, um, I'm just going to speak to you for a moment. Uh, from what I understand, it all started with a hat. <laughs> and, uh, and today we're so thrilled to be able to witness who you are, and we're so thrilled for what's to come as you allow God to write his story through your marriage. We're thrilled to love and your commitment to one another. You've decided to place the Lord as foundational on this day and for the rest of your life. And I love that God designed the marriage covenant relationship, this promise to express something powerful about Himself. His faithfulness. His desire for closeness with His children. His pursuit of us. His promises that are sure and are true. His love that is unconditional. His desire for holiness and purity, for mutual love, sacrifice, submission, and respect. Um, I love that Paul writes in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 23 through 26. It says, Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, also wives should submit. We don't like that word. In everything to their husbands. But husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for, sacrificed himself for her, that he might sanctify her. I encourage you today, um, just even in this moment, in your hearts now, to worship him for what what's, what's he, he's established in marriage, in faithfulness, in a covenant, in a promise, in a joining together of your two lives. A mutual respect and sacrifice, a deep love for God and for one another. Um, Josh, I, uh, I'm proud of the man that you are standing here, hearing everything that Megan gushes about you for years. It's evident in your love for her. She's been talking about you since she was a high school student in our living room. <laughs> and it's an honor to celebrate with you. Know this today that Megan chooses you. She trusts you. She gives herself to you. To be the one to protect her, to lead her, to prize her, to love her unconditionally. To be the man that she leans on, that she runs to, that she cries with, that she prays with, that she celebrates with. She chooses you to know her best. It's a powerful thing. She chooses you to start her days with, to start a family with, to grow old with. And that's a great, great honor and responsibility. I, uh, I, I asked Megan what she loved most about you, and she wrote a book, but I selected a few things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to read. Um, <laughs> she said, I, I love Josh's heart. He cares more for people than they even realize. He has a heart for hurting people. I'm looking forward to spending every day with him. My hopes and dreams 
are that we grow together, putting God at the center of our marriage. I can't wait to start a family with this man. So today, hear that, that she trusts you, that she believes in you, that she loves you deeply. And I'm charging you today to pursue the Lord and your bride from this day forward. Megan, um, it's been one of the greatest blessings for Jenna and I to see the woman that you've become. And, and, uh, and we're so proud of you today. Um, you look beautiful, and you deserve everything about today. Everything. Um, you know, it's been a long road, but today it's your wedding day, and we celebrate. Josh stands before you, and family, and friends, and God himself, and he says, I choose Megan. I choose her. Uh, he said, the, the thing I love the most about Megan is how deeply she cares for everyone and has love for everything. I'm completely comfortable with her. I'm looking forward to starting a life and family together. Know that you are prized by Josh. You stood aside for seven years, and I'm so happy for you today. <laughs> Let me read this passage to you. First Corinthians 13, you've heard it um, at a lot of weddings that you've been to. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but I do not have love, I'm just noise. I'm a noisy gong, a plain symbol. If I have prophetic powers and understand great mysteries and I have all knowledge, and if I have all faith, if I can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, if I deliver up my body to be burned, but I don't have love, I gain nothing. So love is patient in its kind. It doesn't envy, it doesn't boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It, does not, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things, and believes all things, and hopes all things, and endures all things. Never lose sight of the love that binds you together. The Lord, whose grace and mercy saves us, we cling to that. We cling to the love of God. There will be days ahead that are not like today, that aren't your favorite days in the world. Remember that love, remember love and grace. Continue to show forgiveness. Continue to show the grace that God showed us at the cross in Jesus Christ. And remember to be gentle and selfless and giving and affectionate. Say you're sorry when, you're mess, when you mess up. Submit to, respect, and honor one another. Serve one another. And Josh, um, honor your girl. She's a treasure. Honor God and lead well. Listen to one another and enjoy each moment. We all recognize that life, um, life is sweet. And there's these sweet moments like our wedding days and honeymoons and um, being established in a home. And we recognize the brokenness of life in the same breath. We recognize those who have who have lost along the way, who can't sit in these seats and, and celebrate with us. Um, so out of respect for um, those that Josh and Megan have lost, um, we just want to take a moment of silence. Now Josh and Megan have, uh, have decided to, to just spend a moment together, talking, praying, uh, enjoying this moment. And I just want to invite each one of you um, who love and support them, who've committed to walking with them, um, to pray for them in this time. Um, so I'm going to step aside and they're going to step forward. Some music's going to play. Just take a few moments um, and just pray a blessing over them. Uh, pray for them that they be strong and sure-footed um, as they pray together.
part of every wedding is the exchanging of promises and of vows. So Josh, we're going to start with you as you look at your girl. And I just want you to repeat after me. Okay. I, Josh, take you, Megan. I, Josh, take you, Megan. To be my lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> to be my lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> to have it to hold. To have it to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And I'm back in the Megan with this promise to Josh. I'm Megan, take you, Josh. I'm Megan, take you, Josh. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. Now Josh and Megan have rings. Can you pull another? Josh, we'll start. These rings are a picture of their love and commitment. And Josh placed the ring on Megan's left hand, third finger. <laughs> and repeat up for me. Repeat up for me. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And a picture of my promise. And a picture of my promise. That I will love and adore you. And I will love and adore you. As long as I live. As long as I live. Megan. Left hand, third finger. Josh, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and a picture of my promise that I will love and adore you as long as I live. It is now my honor to declare to you Mr. and Mrs. Josh Stump. You can kiss your bride. <laughs> 